New York State breaks another COVID record with 44,000 new COVID cases reported on Friday. Looking at the numbers, nearly 360,000 tests in one day, with 12.4 percent of the results coming up positive. Hospitalizations are also on the rise, with pediatric admissions up fourfold. The state has issued a warning to parents saying children five and older should get vaccinated. With Christmas gatherings on the line, many New Yorkers were scrambling Friday to get tested, and the city was handing out thousands of at-home test kits free of charge in all five boroughs. Instead of going to the hospital, my partner was there yesterday for seven hours waiting to be tested. I'm vaccinated twice, but I didn't get my booster yet, so this helps. The rising cases has prompted Governor Kathy Hochul to loosen quarantine guidelines for fully vaccinated essential workers. She says they can return to work masked five days after testing positive as long as they are asymptomatic and have had no fever for 72 hours. The New York State Nurses Association is reacting to the CDC's new guidance, reducing the isolation period for health care workers. Its statement includes, quote, this guidance is inconsistent with proven science, vague and doesn't provide definitions or explain standards. At a time when decision making for healthcare systems is critical.